I love this bike, man. <laughs> if I get stuck in there, ain't no one coming to rescue me. And mud. Yeah, this place is super eroded. An actual river crossing. Clutch won't engage. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with no cell signal. That's not good. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna have to hike out. Uh, we adventure. Yeah, baby. Jesse Morgan. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Gordon here on the Kawasaki versus X300. We are headed to, I think, Graves Mountain today. I've taken pictures there before. I've ridden that trail on both my Zero and this. However, I wanted to show y'all the Lower Rapidan River and then the uh, Rapidan Camp. I've never been to, but see pictures and it looks really cool. It's supposed to be, I think, 86 today. Protein, baby. Good carbs, too. The only thing we're missing is the macros is fat. I use that beach. So no more highways. It's all a bunch of back roads through farms and the country. It also keeps this bike in the rev range that it likes. Basically five through eight. There's a barbecue place right here. Yeah, there it is. I'll put the name and uh, location up, but it's consistently been good, man. This is staying first gear, huh? We <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just get, stay to 25. Okay. <laughs> I love this bike, man. <laughs> the thing about this Blue Ridge Turnpike is it has some uber fun twisties and the houses on this road are just gorgeous ah uh, yes geez see master warden is off to graves mountain again lower rapidam i presume yes you are correct jeeves ready my bike will you so you see all those bird things there's another house up here that hopefully i can get it on film i think it literally has a name like the bird house or the bird sanctuary or something like that and it has tons of those things and really good gardening yeah this is it yeah look at that it's got like angels and stuff on the back but uh yeah the bird ha bird haven farm man can you imagine a house like right there <laughs> that'd be so cool man Wow, it's so a Graves Mountain Hotel, resort, whatever. It's gonna be up here on the left. Whoa, gravel, careful. So yeah, they had this little bridge and they've irrigated some of it because of the, the increased rain. So I think the increased rain did this, but um, they now have two outlets for the streams, which is kind of cool. And so yeah, it goes all the way up the hill you can hang by the, the water there, which didn't used to be that high. They got rooms at the top right up there. And they have rooms there. They have, I believe, no rooms in there. That's just like the clubhouse and food area. Right there. So the camera's not going to show it, but this whole area is like one big, gigantic hill. All right, so I haven't been here since... Uh, since the, the storm so I suspect there's gonna be some erosion that I didn't see last time but but yeah I, I mean before you know I've been here before I would totally take my minivan up this my Honda Odyssey I've taken the, the zero up this and it had 100% street tires and I've taken the versus up this once not with this much gear but I've taken it up here so and this one is mostly tame. I will say the erosion has made it a little more, but Honda CRV didn't like their chances. Yeah, it's not hot up here, man. <laughs> what I like about the mountains. People say, isn't it dangerous to go out in like 90 plus degree weather? I'm like, it's not 90 up here. Especially once you're in the tree canopy. You know what I mean? 
Got some shade. You're at the mountains. It's cool. I bet it's gigantically deep at this time. <laughs> I'm not risking that. Uh-oh. I don't have a choice. Whee! <laughs> All right, so since my kickstand's broken, let's try this uh, center stand on muddy gravel. Perfect. All right, so it is so loud. It never has looked like this. This area right here, you could actually like sit in on both sides. There was like nice little rock sticking out and kind of a pebble beach over there. It is flooded, which is good. It washes away some of the, you know, nasty, but wow, it is so high. I'm going to go upstream first and then we'll walk downstream. This is crazy. So I believe the rules of camping is that you got to be 100 yards away from this stuff, but if you want to just take your car pill, you can. Wow. Look how rough it is. There's still, yeah, nice sections like this we can hang out either in the shade or away from the sun. Let's go down river. I want to show you some stuff. Hiking trail right here. And if you're a backpacker, you can still, you know, bring all your normal stuff. I didn't bring my saw and my axe because you can't start fires in Shenandoah, but you can use stoves. Look at this. Usually the Forest Service will, will create these like little runoffs. I'll see if I can find one so the trails don't act as streams because if they do, they erode away the trail. So see this? So it'll come down so they, they, they protect the water from going over the road. And then they create this little ramp that makes it go away and into the river. So protects the trail from not getting eroded. So see how there's like no stream on this one? Down there was really fun because there's a bunch of rocks that were like almost above the water and almost below. So you could like sit a chair on it and just sit your feet there. But wow, not anymore. If I get stuck in there, ain't no one coming to rescue me. Those rocks are big. <laughs> Woo. Adventure bike. Oh yeah. Way too much confidence for this guy. <sighs> All right, so I've never been here, but I believe this eventually goes all the way up. And there's a campsite way up there. So let's follow this. Let's hit some puddles, yeah? One, two, three. One, two, three, and mud. <laughs> I love these tires, man. They so good. How are my feet not soaking wet right now? Whew. Fun times, man. Oh, we're actually leaving the park now, okay. to these nice two fishermen. He said there's a small fire pit down here. Let's take a look. Oh, that's cool. Wow, okay. Uh. Yeah, there. that's not where you want to put your tin, even though it looks soft, but yeah, big fire pit. There we go, good tin site. Decent tent site right there. 
away from the water. Wow. And I mean, this is when the stream is high, too, you know? <coughs> it's really cool. And you can smell it. It smells like, I don't know, cold, fresh water. How do you get over there? I want to get over there. That's awesome. Huh. I wonder if... Oh, wait. It's another bridge. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So you just go across the bridge. And then over there. Red. That's cool, man. What a neat camping spot. Oh. Up this hill. That's more than a fire pit. That's a fire mound. Dude, what happened here? I think one of those things busted, or they need to add one. Holy cow. Yeah, this place is super eroded. Oh, mud pit, baby. Mud pit. Blech. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. It, it's like a an actual river crossing. That's not supposed to be a river. Holy. All right. Like, how do I? What? Dude. Is I'm not the only one. A bit baffled. I think I saw a crawdad. Where did I see him? He was right here a second ago. There he is. Yeah, it's a crawdad. Those things are good eating, man. Can't go around it. Gotta go through it. That's what I think. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a rock. I'm gonna try it. So for some reason, my bike will go in gear, but the clutch won't engage. I don't know what that's about. I tried first and second, and then neutral, and moving the bike around, but it just won't engage. I don't know if my chain fell off or something. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with no cell signal. That's not good. All right, so the bike will start. The throttle works. But when you pull the clutch lever, you can feel it. You can see the wire in there pulling. The only thing I can think to do is take these fairings off and then try to get behind it. I, I mean, I don't know what's going on. And the other problem is that even if I get to Graves Mountain by some miracle, there's not a lot of cell signal, so. Uh, all right, so I took the fairing off. I'm not doing anything. As you can see it move here, right? Like shift the gearbox inside the engine so it'll engage. Dude, I think I'm gonna have to hike out, have some wrecker get it out somehow, and then I can, you know, take the van on Sunday here. So, here comes a truck, maybe they'll save me. All right, so here's the situation. I got from a passing electrician guys, I got two numbers for a local garage. I'm actually gonna just try to walk to Rapid Canyon Camp because I've always wanted to see it, and I'm here anyway. The bike's toast, man. I'm gonna go fill up the water. Got bear spray, got a knife, got my charger for both my phone and my camera. And in case it gets dark, I got this, and I'll probably go grab the batteries out of that. And my phone, which is fully charged. So I'm gonna leave everything else and just hike out. The only problem with going that way, uphill, is that I think it's a state road only, so like only worker guys can go up it. And I looked, and it's like a massive switchback, which means it's really high. Plus, I don't know that gas station down the middle of nowhere in Shenandoah. Like, there might not be anybody there. There is phone signal at the bottom. It's, you know, a longer walk, but I'd rather take the surefire way to get a signal. Plus, there's so many cars. Um, I'm sure somebody might give me a ride out. I'm not gonna ask, but if, if they offer, I'll totally take it. It's only like a two mile walk, or five mile, something like that. But it's good. I'm not hurting, I'm not hungry, I've got plenty of water. So by plenty, I mean like I'm near a you know stream I could refill it if I had to. We adventure! So my oldest daughter and my mom are on the way. They'll be here in about 45 minutes. I'm almost at Old Blue Ridge Turnpike, so I'm just gonna head up to the resort. I think that store closes around seven, so I don't think I'll make it, even if I ran. <laughs> not that I have running cardio skills right now, but yeah, I mean, I know it sucks, but man, this. This area is beautiful. It forces you to, you know, be in it. So a lot of positives too. I think after the coolant problem I had, the oil problem I had, and then this problem, take like a mechanics class. I'm learning a lot from that, but I'm not learning fast enough. You know what I mean? Give me motivation to take it yet another class, which is cool, man. 
Lifelong of learning. So many positives from this. You get to see my mom. She gets to spend time with my older daughter again, because we just went to the beach. And I get lots of cardio. It's good stuff in this uh, awesome country. I saw some cows, but they weren't too interested in hanging. So I'll try again. There's some more cows up here, I think. Never know. So I managed to get a truck rented and an adapter for the trailer. I think it's a three inch or two and a half. And my bike trailer is two inches. So it's got enough clearance where I can get back there. I don't think I can take the minivan back there. So my mom, I'm going to pick her up right now. And we're gonna attempt to drive back there and get my bike on the trailer and then drive it out. The question is, is it still there? <laughs> Let's hope it is. There she is. So it's been two days. Day two. Bike looks okay. My helmet's still there. And look at that. They didn't steal my car though. Nice. Some moron forgot to lock it and take his car though. Anyway, they built a bridge in a day. That is impressive. And it looks like... Did they support it enough? Yeah. Did they support it with a log? Ugh. Let's see. Well, it has enough support. I suppose a truck could get across this. Yeah, I mean, you can see the tire tracks, they've been doing it. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> the plan is, push the bike up to the campsite, load it on the, the truck trailer, and then drive really slow out of here in four-wheel four low. We'll see how it goes. No, we're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. All right, we made it over the crazy makeshift bridge. I mean, can you imagine building a bridge in a day? That's just awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ratchet this bike because it's leaning a little too much doing this. I think that'll help me. I really I, I'm do. With you. I need something though. Get a get a photo out with my mom. <sighs> Gotta leave them donuts. So I brought my daughter the EMT in case I collapse of happiness. Show, show them the hat. That's so awesome, dude. She worked really hard for that. Oh yeah. Because I have her back, I have to play the best high energy song ever. It's bonkers mixed by Ham has like this really good track. I think it's track two or three and it's just it's off the chain man that's how i feel about having his bike back the song is faster than his bike will go if you listen to it it's more of a sport bike song but it makes me happy yeah baby god i missed this bike dude Ugh, i missed my zero too but man i missed this one all right i'm just gonna enjoy this for a minute yay the clutch works <laughs> i'm out of practice but that's okay Oh man, feels so good. I'm not even going anywhere and I feel good. So good, dude. So good. You don't realize it's therapy until you don't have it, you know? <laughs> 